Welcome to the prayer channel. Over the next few days, we are going to be praying through the different character traits that the Lord is expecting us to walk in. We're going to be asking the Lord to help us to improve the parts of our character that do not line up with his will and his word. Today, we will be praying through the spirit of generosity, the spirit of generosity, which means to act with kindness, to be open and willing to share with others without any expectation of receiving something back in return. It means to celebrate the success and effort of others without any inkling of envy or resentment. It means to share in the joy and the lives of others with a genuine heart and a real desire to see others do well and excel in their God-given calling. So Lord, we just thank you for today and we thank you, Lord, that you are reminding us, Lord God, of what you expect from us. Lord, where we have lived lives or been in societies, Lord, that do not exhibit this generosity of spirit. And in fact, Lord, do the opposite. They do the complete opposite. Instead, our societies teach us to be greedy, teach us to be heavy handed, teach us to try and get one up on each other. Lord, our society teaches us, Lord, to be selfish and greedy and to hoard and to hold on to what we have and not to share. And Lord, today we just come before you and we repent, Lord, for where we have not exhibited or even desired to show generosity of spirit in our own lives. Oh Lord, today we thank you that you're convicting and cleansing our hearts to realize and to remember that we are your chosen ones. We're your children called for a time such as this to exhibit and to manifest the glory of your kingdom. Lord, we thank you for your son, Jesus, Lord, who came and lived and rose and died and was resurrected for our lives in the most generous act of humanity. Jesus died and rose again, endured lashes and whippings and beatings so that we would go free. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice, the greatest act of generosity. And so, Lord, today we thank you for reminding us of who we are in you. Lord, we thank you that you're reminding us, Lord, that we cannot make excuses for what we have seen because, Lord, you say that we are new creations in you. And, Lord, you also remind us that he who the Son has set free is free indeed. So, Lord, as we remember who you are, Lord, would you help us, Lord, to move and to be transformed not by our own effort, Lord God, but by your Holy Spirit. It says in Romans 5, 8, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Generosity links to love. You can't be generous if you don't love. And Lord God, you love, you love each of us so powerfully and so intricately, Lord God. And so Lord, we're grateful for that love. And we're grateful that that is a generous love. It's a love, Lord, that has transformed and changed our lives. And so, Lord, how can we sit here? How can we stand here today, Lord, and not exhibit the same generosity that you've given to each of us? Lord, the fact that we're breathing today, the fact that we have life, the fact, Lord, that you are with us, Lord God, the fact that you have chosen not to forsake us, Lord, or leave us bound to our sins, but instead you've called us, each of us, by name, to free us, to cleanse us, to wash us and to give us a new chance. So today, Lord, as we ask you to cleanse our characters, Lord, to change us, Lord, to give us a new desire, to be generous, to be giving, to have an open and a transparent heart before you and before others. Lord, would you help us? Lord, would you wash us? Lord, where we've been embroiled in sin, where we've been embroiled in bad thinking, where the enemy has taken a turn and caused all forms of complication in our lives. We thank you that today, as we embrace having a generous spirit, Lord God, you're gonna move mightily. Lord, you said in Acts 20, 35, in all things I've shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said it is more blessed to give than to receive. Oh Lord, would we give, would we give graciously? 
Lord, would we desire giving? Would we want to give, Lord God? And Lord, would when we give, Lord, would we be more blessed in the giving than we are in receiving all the wonderful things that you've given us? Would we desire more to give? Lord, we know that this is a spiritual transformation that needs to take place in our hearts. It's not something we can just talk about. But Lord, as we think about these scriptures today, and Lord, as we meditate on the word of God, and Lord, as we commune with your presence through the Holy Spirit, Lord, I thank you that we are going to be transformed. Lord, keep generosity in our hearts today. Help us to give, not only financially, Lord, but with our time, with our hearts, with our mouths, with our lives. Lord, we thank you for this day. And as we think over the next few minutes about how we can move more in generosity today, Lord, would you give us new ideas and would you show us what you have for us today? In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you.